to what extent has your signalness or your really long season of signalness enabled you to do more things than you would have been able to do as a married woman or even a mother? When I compare myself with a woman who is married, she will have a limited in terms of not time, but more like you have to focus on one thing because of the, the various different challenges and the various different responsibilities you have. So mm. I felt like God freed me from a lot of these responsibilities where I don't have to help my children in their homework, take care of my husband's needs or taking care that he's fed well and all of these things. So I used up that particular time, which which a lot of women are using for these responsibilities. I used up that time to learn new skills, explore new demographics where I could reach and learn from people. So the learning part is something that I felt like I had more time for. So I think that's how singleness gives us opportunities. It presents so much time and resources for you to use and learn and grow. I think there is still a problem, especially in the Christian community, that single people sometimes are second class people. How do you navigate all this? It's hard. <laughs> God is still sort of using me as a single woman, I think. And his time has not come for me to like get married and have kids and be a mother. I have a stock of singleness and God is still not done with that stock. He's still using that stock. And when that stock runs out, he'll probably restock me as a married woman and then I'll have different purposes. But that's, that's what I truly believe. I have many different ways of answering that question when people ask me in India about why you're not married or... Sometimes it's just a casual saying, um, I have not found the one or I've not found the right guy or I have decided to use this question also as an opportunity to minister to this person who's asking me that question. This will be a woman in her 60s or 70s whose children are married and they are either settled abroad or they have great stable jobs. In the worldly terms, it's a very satisfied woman who has done her duty and job. And this is the profile of a woman who asked me that question. So Mukti, you're not married yet. What happened? And I use that opportunity to minister to this lady saying, I believe God has a plan for everybody's life. And if in his plan, marriage is one thing which he wants to give me, he will give me in his time. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I go on to ask this woman, what do you think is God's plan for your life? And that's when the conversation begins, really. A lot of mm -hmm. times the conversation is about but I don't know what is God's plan for my life. This, this, this woman is in her 60s. And that's when I get to minister to her saying, well, as long as you trust God and as long as you come to him, you know, you can be used. And then I end up encouraging this woman. I'm not single because I don't think I'm worthy or like I've not found the right guy. I think most importantly, I'm single because this is part of God's plan for my life. And uh, there is no other reason why I'm single. Many people your age, especially women, but also guys, start then thinking, well, maybe it, either something is wrong with me or they start yeah. to compromise like, well, maybe my values, my Christian values or whatever standards you might, might have, maybe they're a bit too high. Let's compromise a bit. And I love yeah. that no matter the difficulties, no matter the cultural difficulties you, you have, you say, well, I... I see it as God's purpose and I just keep going. It's very impressive. I, I, yeah. I love that. And I Thank you. just want to encourage Thank you, you to keep running your race. I think if we follow God's will, we are always winning. We don't see That's it immediately. What? Sometimes winning looks differently, but we are always on the winning True. team. And, and, and I love that. And yeah, I found it very, very encouraging, Mukti.